Welcome to Affinity Designer. If you want to add soft shading and highlights to your vector designs and illustrations, Pixel Persona gives you this ability without needing to access an external app. Here I have a drawing of a fist, which has been inked and coloured using two separate layers within Draw Persona. I want to simulate the effect of light hitting the illustration from this direction, thereby creating highlights on this side of the fist. And I'm going to do this by adding coloured pixels via Pixel Persona. Now the method I'll demonstrate gives you a preview of where the highlights will be applied. I'll begin by adding highlights to the thumb. To do so, I'll select the appropriate colour sublayer, and then I'll select this option on the toolbar, insert inside the selection and then add a new pixel layer by clicking this icon on the layers panel. The steps I have taken result in a new pixel layer being created inside the boundaries of this layer. This will become more obvious in a moment. To apply pixels to this new pixel layer, I'm going to select the paintbrush tool from the tools panel and then load up the brush with a mid-grey colour from the swatches panel. I'll set the hardness of the brush to 0% to get the softest edge possible. And then I'll resize my brush using the close square bracket key to make it bigger. Now as I move my cursor over the page you can see a preview of where the pixels will be applied. Because I've got this nested layer selected you can see the pixels will only show up if they are within the boundary of this layer. If I paint now, the pixels look nothing like a highlight, so I'll change one final thing. I'll set the blend mode of this pixel layer to screen using this pop-up menu on the layers panel. So when I now drag to paint pixels, the colour underneath the pixels is lightened. If you feel the effect is too strong, you can always drop the opacity of the layer using this option on the layers panel. Next I'll add some shading on the opposite side of the thumb. I'll do this on a new layer by clicking the add new pixel layer icon on the layers panel. This layer is added above my previous layer, so it also becomes nested in this colour layer. To darken the colour underneath my painted pixels, as a shadow would, I'm going to set the blend mode of this new layer to multiply. I'll make my brush a little smaller by pressing the open square bracket key and then paint the underside of the thumb. If you're not happy with the positioning of the pixels you might be able to correct this by selecting the move tool and then dragging the layer to either reveal more of the hidden painted pixels or hide more of the layer. Alternatively, you can remove pixels using the Erase Brush tool. I'll set my Erase Brush to 100% hardness and then drag on my page to remove any unwanted pixels. If you end up with edges which are too distinct, you can calm these down by reducing the hardness of the brush and painting once again. I want to add some more shadows to the thumb and I can do this on the current pixel layer. However, as my painting can be dangerously inaccurate, I prefer to add a new layer for every area of shadow. This gives me the ability to tweak each area of shadow separately, safe in the knowledge other areas will remain untouched. You can also stack up layers to darken areas of deeper shadow. For example, I can duplicate this layer by selecting it in the Layers panel and then from the Edit menu selecting Duplicate. The coloured area immediately darkens because the Multiply Blend is accumulative. 
I'll erase areas of this duplicate layer using my erase brush to gradually fade out the darker shadow. That's pretty much it for adding pixel based shadows and highlights to your vector artwork. However, I just wanted to discuss the flexibility you have when working in designer. It's not vital to work directly inside your color layer from the outset or even create a pixel layer yourself. If I have no layers selected, I simply paint with my paintbrush and the pixels are placed on a pixel layer which is automatically created. That's what this message is telling me. I can then set the blend mode after painting and then drag the pixel layer into the color layer and I get the same effect as before. Also, if you're still unsure whether to use blend modes, I'll give you a good example of why they're useful. If I've used global colors in my illustration, as I have here, you can change the color without affecting the shadow and highlight areas. If you'd like more information about using pixel persona, blend modes, or global colors, please check out our comprehensive help system and our other video tutorials available from the help menu. Thanks for watching.